welcome to the Oculus Build Podcast. Today we're going to talk about how to make a versatile ACID baseline sequencer with emphasis control and pattern cueing using several linked 8 step sequencers. First things first, you'll need a camera connector to attach your iOS device to the Expert Sleeper's ES8 DC coupled audio interface. We'll use Audulus's two audio outputs to send a sequence triple detuned oscillator bass to an analog filter on one channel, and on the other channel, we'll send a clock signal to trigger an envelope used to modulate the filter's cutoff. This is the audio signal, and this is the gate signal. The filter is modulated by an envelope, as well as an attenuated LFO created by another expert sleeper's disting. Here is that signal. Finally, we're sending the 24 dB per octave filter output to a lightly overdriven L1 tube VCA. The output then goes to the Universal Audio Apollo. To add some more grit and punch to the baseline, we're using a Neve 1073 unison channel strip with some heavy EQing, the Fairchild 660 tube compressor, and both the Studer A800 and Ampex ATR102 tape simulators. Now let's have a look at how we set up this Audulus patch. You don't need to do anything special to send a control signal to the ES8. Here you can see the clock signal is going straight into the audio output. Here you can see we're sending the sequenced bass line to the other audio output. The clock module is driving the main pitch sequencer. The pitch sequencer creates a modulation signal between 0 and 1. The output of the sequencer is converted to an octave signal by this M2O module. The octave signal is then quantized with this module and sent to the octave input of the oscillator. To create a pattern buffer, all we need to do is use multiple other sequencers to modulate the parameters of the main sequencer. One sequencer is modulating the value of step 8 of the pitch sequencer, while another sequencer is modulating the plus parameter of the M2O module, which shifts the entire sequence up and down the scale. As you'll hear later, I dialed this into a 12 bar pentatonic blues progression. This bank of sequencers at the bottom are modulating the gate height as it enters the oscillator's volume envelope. Doing this allows us to add dynamic emphasis just like a real TB303 sequencer. The emphasis sequencer is set to a maximum of 5 steps, which adds an extra layer of evolving syncopation as the emphasis phases in and out with the main sequencer's 8 steps. The incoming clock signal is multiplied by the modulation signal created by the emphasis sequencer, which varies the height of the gate as it enters the envelope. You can think of each step as a sequential volume control. If you wanted to skip a step, you would simply turn the step all the way down. To create some movement in the patch, we've added several LFOs to modulate various parameters. Each LFO creates a modulation signal that is translated by an M2M module, which can shrink and offset the range of an LFO. Adding subtle movement like this to your patch can break up an otherwise monotonous sequence. Finally, to simulate the TB303's tie function, we've added one more set of sequencers to modulate the slew or glide control on the quantizer. Now that we know how the whole patch works, let's have a listen. Thanks a lot for watching this audio this tutorial. Please take some time to rate and review us in the Apple, iOS, and Mac stores. All your 5 star ratings and good comments really help us out. If you have any questions or requests for a future episode of the Audulus Build Podcast, email me directly at mark at audulus.com or right below in the comments. Also, make sure you join us in the forum where you can download this patch for yourself. Link in the description. If you don't already have an Expert Sleeper's ES8 audio interface, buy one through Century Sound Labs on Reverb.com and you'll receive a free copy of Audulus on the platform of your choosing. Link also in the description. Finally, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Audulus. 
Thanks again, and see you next time.